So JFK, they kind right of now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> This is Alexia, Alexia Nicole, Living My Life by Design, and I have a friend here with me today. Hello, everyone. This is Roberto Peace. Uh, you can also see me on YouTube at Roberto World Traveler. Um, yeah, so that's who I am. So what we're going to be doing today, I was actually tagged in the flight attendant tag a few months ago by Fly Girl Lizette and I've been putting it off because I just didn't feel like I had been flying long enough to truly answer those questions with real opinions. So me and Roberto are going to be doing it today. He is a in-flight crew member with my airline as well and so he's just going to be coming to you with a man's opinion of some of these questions. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. You can answer. Well. We are based together <laughs> in good old New York City. Yep, JFK based. And as I think I've mentioned to you all before, um, JFK base is going to cover LaGuardia Airport and EWR. And actually, what doesn't it cover? Um, like White Plains. White Plains too, right? Yeah, HPN? Yeah. Yep, White Plains. I've never been there yet. But yeah, have I? So JFK, <laughs> they kind of. Right <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So they kind of have us spread out everywhere. We can um, report to any of those airports if we get called. You've done more layovers than me. Let me tell so. you. I mean, I've done a few. Uh, what I will say is my favorite layover layover city, uh, and probably just my favorite layover in general, just because like the crew was amazing, and we had such a great time out there, was uh, San Jose. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, for other reasons, like, you know, uh, it's just a beautiful area. Um, also, with my other job, because, you know, sometimes when you're a flight attendant, you definitely need more than one income. Just a little yes, tip. Yes, I've been telling you uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, With my other job, I work with technology. So, uh, it's a very big area oh, for techie, technology so, yeah. and innovation. Um, but, I'm just going to be honest, that hotel, fire. It's amazing. Trust yeah, that me. hotel is amazing. It's amazing. Yes, it is. So that would probably be my favorite. That's your favorite. Okay, yeah. so he took my favorite. Um, it's my favorite one. for multiple <laughs> reasons. Oh, but yeah. Same since, here. <laughs> <laughs> since he took my favorite, I'm going to say um, Phoenix, Phoenix, Arizona. I did that layover, and I literally fell in love with that city. Have you been there yet? No, I haven't, actually. Thank yeah. you. So, it, um, I might pick that it up was on dope. the day. Like, the city itself, like, the views yeah. was amazing. I gotta check that out, then. Um, I really don't usually like to get out too much and walk around the cities, but I did there, and I fell in love with it. The hotel was really nice. The bar outside by the pool was really nice. So, I enjoyed myself there. Where do I begin? Um... I think my biggest pet peeve is people not complying. Yeah. Like, and it's only for their safety. That's yeah. that's all it's for. It's just for safety. You don't care about anything else. Like, yeah. That and when people don't wear socks. <laughs> what? People don't wear socks. Or like shoes, on the plane. Like on the oh, plane. and then they walk into they the lab. They don't want to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Are you serious? You nasty people. You like, know what? I only see kids do that. No, I haven't seen. No, I've seen multiple. I just, I have a picture on my Snapchat. Like, if, <laughs> I'll show you later. It's disgusting. Please, if you're one of those people, just stop. It's and it's, it's only disgusting because people pee on the floor. Yes. Tours. And honestly, y'all, just we just gonna, planes don't get cleaned every day. They, no. I don't even no. know if they get cleaned, mm -hmm. honestly. Like we go through after every flight and kind of clean up the seat area, but. That's it. There is no scrubbing and bleaching mm -hmm. of the bathrooms nope. and the tray tables that you like to lay your head on and sleep. <laughs> so if you're flying, just go ahead and bring like a little alcohol wipe or something yes, and get please. your area together. Please. Um, let me see. My biggest pet peeve as a flight attendant. Um, I don't know. I really don't know yet. It's all right. Yeah. Um, I complained um, about reserve life the other day, and I think reserve life is really just the biggest pet peeve of it all. Like, it's just honestly annoying. Like, we're both currently on reserve right now, sitting yes. home reserve. Yes. Our phones could ring any moment, and we would have to get up and stop this video and go <laughs> to work. 
It's probably not gonna happen though. Yes, <laughs> they ain't gonna call us today. But you know, so I think right yeah. now for me, that's my biggest pet peeve is just the inconsistency and not knowing of reserve. True. True. Not gonna lie. Well, there's two main things: the okay. traveling. Yes. And the different people that you meet. Uh, it's very sometimes it's very rewarding. Yeah, absolutely. It's not absolutely. sometimes. It's definitely rewarding. That is definitely true. So. Um, I'll probably have to piggyback off on him. So, of course, everybody that wants to be a flight attendant, you can't tell me you're not wanting to do it because you want to travel. We yes. know that. Everybody wants to travel. So, that is that is what that is. Um, but my other favorite thing, I think, so far, is just being able to meet so many people. And, I mean, of course, you would meet different customers, passengers on the plane. And sometimes you really make a great connection with them and they're great. But yeah. just some of the people that I've literally met from the process of interviewing and yes. training and things like that. Yes. And becoming friends with these people. Um, you get to a certain point in life where you really don't think you're going to make too many more friends. Right. And then, <laughs> bam, so I had a class of 70 people. Bring and up. I was like, friend, friend, exactly. friend. You know, so. Exactly. That was definitely cool. And just learning about different cultures and things yes, like that. It's, seriously. That's dope. Especially when you go to the Dominican Republic. Mm, haven't been there yet. It, I'm just going to let you know, if you are working a flight to the Dominican Republic, everyone's going to order coffee, uh-huh. and everyone's going to have, like, eight packets of sugar. So stock up on <laughs> stock it. Stock up on the just sugar. Just letting you know now, all right? That's good to know. <laughs> um, so it's actually something I still do, because, uh, again, like I said, you know, mm-hmm. having only, yeah, only relying on this is not going to cut it. Um, I work with a uh, big technology company uh, that sells certain phones. Uh, Actually, if you know the month of September, you know that it just released. Uh, (laughs) So I'll let you make the assumption of what company I work for. But yeah, I worked there and I I did more sales and I did training or still kind of do so. So as y'all know, I'm still currently a realtor, but even before my real estate life, I did retail, retail management. Um, I've told y'all before, I think I worked at Ralph Lauren. I've worked at quite a few different retail stores. Um, My degree's in fashion merchandising, so that's what my background is in. Um, And all of that customer service just kind of... Sorry. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) Yep. So it all just kind of trickled together into more customer service life. There's many different reasons. Actually... I kind of always saw myself as being a flight attendant one day. Really? Yeah, like, it's just weird. Like, I knew that that type of, I guess, customer service and just that life of flying. Like, yeah. personally, I've been flying since I was two two weeks old. You got me beat. I was three yeah. months my first Actually, flight. during my, uh, <laughs> during my interview, the, the girl that interviewed me, Natalie, she was like... You just beat me because I was like just like that. Yeah, Yeah. I've been flying since I was two weeks old. So like, flying is just in me. Yeah, and like when I knew that I can travel pretty much the whole world next to nothing, like who wouldn't want to do that? Who wouldn't want to do it? Exactly. And and I'm not gonna lie. As time goes on, the pay does get better. Absolutely. Life does get a lot better. It's just for a certain amount of time. You have to deal with... You got to put in your dues. Exactly. You know, like exactly. anything else, you have to work your way up there. Exactly. Same as flight attendant life. Yeah. Um, what made me want to be a flight attendant? Just like Roberto here, I've been flying. My first flight was, I was three months old to Canada or something like that. And I haven't even been back since then. Really? But yeah, my daddy was crazy. And we drove from Texas <laughs> to Canada what? when I was three months old. My mama was like, oh, hell no. Like, <laughs> put me and my child back on a plane. Right. <laughs> so that was that. And then I went to Jamaica shortly after okay. that. Nice. Um, but let's see. So I've always been traveling, always been comfortable with it. And just probably like many of you, I would be sitting in the airports and see the cute little flight attendants walking down the terminals with their bags and their cute uniforms. And I said, oh, I could look snatched and cute like that, too. And then just do all the perks, (laughs) you know, like, why not? Um, And I really think I'm just good with people. And there was a point in time in my life where I was over retail. Actually, I've been trying to be a flight attendant for a long time. I've but been in retail. And, it's, you and, just get over it, right? 
But in my mind, I was like, well, this is what I went to school for. Right, so yeah. let me put my focus <laughs> into it. Then I finally said, nah, like I just need to create a life that I really enjoy. Yeah. So I went ahead and did my real estate. And then I really put my focus into earning these wings. And True. Now I'm here and I'm happy. Man, that's that's a good one right there. I need. I take my whole life. I, so. I was about to say, I take... <laughs> I take everything. If anything, I do take my computer. Yeah. Uh, because again, like I do edit my, uh, I make videos as well, and I edit that. And you gotta stay like you know busy, you know, and entertained. Exactly. On the layover. Um, this is gonna be pretty cliche, but my phone, like. Yeah. I was, yeah. You can't live without it, but you okay. Can't. But outside of the phone, I'm gonna say. You know what? I'm going to say my sneakers because I've been finding myself right now. The only time that I actually go work out is on the that layover. Was... So, yeah, I, need to get on I that. always make sure. <laughs> I need to get on that. I always make sure that I have at least two workout outfits packed so I can feel like I'm trying to get back active. So, I like to bring my sneakers with I, me. I do have one. Uh, I bring alcohol. <laughs> Which we can. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah, I know yeah, that, but I just to. don't. Let me tell you. Uh, there's going to be some days where alcohol really comes in hand. Yeah, absolutely. So, I just usually uh, head to a bar. Yeah, true, true. But then again, it's less yeah, money. Yeah, you that is absolutely true. That is and, absolutely true. And you know, reserve life sometimes is not it's nice. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. It's not nice on the pockets, alcohol. baby. For me, for me, yeah. <laughs> nice little turn up after you had to. You already know. Yeah, I got you. And water. Yes, water. What? Water, most definitely. Yes. Like, not even just for the alcohol purposes. Just like, injured. staying yes. hydrated yes. in this lifestyle. Yes. You need it. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes it could be just adjusting to the schedule uh, and the different times. Because, like, for us, sometimes you'll be scheduled at 3 a.m. Mm -hmm. And then other times you're scheduled at, like, 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. And then, like... I mean, there's times where, like, I, I the job, that, the other job that I work at, you know, they have certain rules where, like, you get a certain amount of time off. Like, they make sure it's an X amount of hours that you're on the clock, and then that's on you if you want to take care of that. Yeah. It's a longer time with this job, um, and you'll realize that when you're on reserve. Uh, again, it's not something that will happen all the time, but there's days where you're like... Why can't they just make the, yeah. you know, the time a little like, bit smaller? Yeah, exactly. Because I'm not going to lie, I lose my patience sometimes, like, <laughs> when I don't get enough sleep. Uh, but, yeah. It's just a part of the job, you yeah. know, but, hey. But I have, I've adjusted to it. I'm good. It, it'll be over within a year. Hopefully. Hopefully. We Hopefully. will have a line. He's been here. You were the class before, yeah, before me, yeah. so he graduated in, like, two June. weeks before yeah. I got to training. Yeah. So, we're right about in that same time frame of praying for some new little blue babies. Yes. So, yes, y'all trying to get these wings, go ahead and apply. Please. It's coming up soon. Coming up soon. Um, so, I think the most challenging part is still going to be like the reserve, but like I was just telling him earlier, I, was, I got released early Saturday, so I was free. I was off Sunday, and I wanted to go to Chicago, but... I was working today, but we don't get our schedules <sighs> yeah. until like, when? what time do we get? Like 2 p.m.? If that, if they're nice. <laughs> yeah. So usually we're supposed to get our schedule for the next day at 2 p.m. the day before. Yeah. So I was, you know, I didn't really want to take my chances and go to Chicago not knowing what time I would have to report back to New York exactly. to be on call just in case I do get called. So like that, you know. Pet peeves, challenges, reserve is just going to be an overall challenge. I don't know anybody that's done it flawlessly ever. I was going to say, can I add on to that? Like, I'm just going to let you know right now, please do not, like, have plans. Like, if you know you got to work the next day, mm -hmm. you might want to think about, uh, especially if you're a commuter, like, yeah. we're both commuters. Yep. So, if you and know... And he commutes way more than me, though. So, yes, yeah. I do. Because I have to. Um, and let me tell you, if you're commuting and, you know, there's either this party you're trying to go to or even with another job, mm -hmm. like, you have to make some sacrifices because yeah. there's some days you don't even, like, it's supposed to be done by either anywhere between 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. There have been days where 
we didn't even find out till 11 p.m. Yeah. Uh, obviously, because other things that happen. Uh, and which, scheduling has to take yeah, their time and, yeah. and reroute and redo exactly. and do whatever they have yes. to do. But, of course, that just basically puts our lives on pause. Yes, we yes. We just have to sit here and Yes, but just remember, wait. yeah, but remember, like, don't mess it up because this is a process that, I mean, it took me about six months or four to five months to it get hired. Yeah. And then yeah. <laughs> some it took, it took even longer. Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> like, just bear with them for a little bit. Yeah. And yeah. like at the end of the day, it's, it's honestly worth it because yes. I definitely have more pros about this job than I do have cons. Reserve is reserved. They tell you that they pound it into your head before you even go to training. Yes, yes. At the interviews, they let you know that it's going to suck. You can it's, talk to anybody. Yeah. They're going to tell you it sucks. But once you get to that level of the non-suckiness, For like, this job is lit. Like it really is. It really, like, it's, oh, it's, it really is. It's great. I can't stand so, people that are like, I didn't know it was going to be like this. Yes, you did. What? Exactly. Are yes, you serious? Yes, you did. They Who told did? us. Yeah. Anyways. We digress. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would just say, stay after it, y'all. Just, just, just so we're both just going to say, stay after it. Y'all know that I had been applying on and off since 2010. I really wasn't taking it as serious as I should have years ago because by then I you know I would have been good in seniority but you know whatever but just stay after it stay persistent if you're one of those lucky people that get your first CJO on your first interview right. then blessings to you God bless you good for you yes. but <laughs> at the end of the day that's just that's just not what's gonna happen majority of people are gonna get a thanks but no thanks at least I've had at least three Okay. Before I did the airline that I'm at now. Yeah, and I've had way more. So, it is what it is. But we're Seriously. both sitting here happy with how things worked out. So, just stay after it. Do not doubt yourself. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to lie. Like I look at most flight attendants, and I'm just like, I don't feel like I fit that criteria. Mm -hmm. That's one thing that sometimes people feel about themselves. You know... We live in a very self-conscious world. Mm, so, yeah. like, you know, I'm not the most fit person ever. Uh, <laughs> not going to lie. I think the only thing that's really working for me is my smile. <laughs> Personally. <laughs> and my personality. Yeah. But it's absolutely. like, but that's what certain companies look for. It's more mm -hmm. of the personality, not always about how you look. Um, and just don't, again, during training, when you when you get to it, because we're we're very positive. We want to yes, see you make absolutely. it. When you, it. Yeah. When you go through training, just like we were saying, just think about that end goal. Like, do not let the fear get to you. Don't let your thoughts get to you. Yeah. I just, don't know. What did you do? Did you ever go out during training and, like, party or anything like that? Like, what was your downtime, relaxed time? They know what mine was because I blogged the whole training. But what did you do? So, I think I only went out twice or three times during training. And it was... After a really tough test. Which one? <laughs> Number seven? Oh, they, oh, four? Oh, that one was rough. <laughs> the four was the worst. No, ten no. was the worst. The Eleven. The medical. The last test. Medical. I just passed that one. But anyways, <laughs> let me tell you. Yeah, that, that was the last time I went out. We all celebrated. Yeah. And on top of that, I passed my EME. So, you know it was time to yeah, turn up. Yeah, my EME Because everything else was whack. a piece but. of cake after that. Yeah. But let me, I only went out twice, the two or three times. The rest of the time, like, I just stayed in because I wanted to stay focused. Because, you know, let's say if you drink and then let's say you get way too drunk and then, you know, you start feeling the hangover and mm -hmm. sleeping all day, you lose time yep. to, like, Were you focus and study. I was PM, but me even too. then, even yeah. then it's like, just stay focused. Just stay focused, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that's. That's it, y'all. Something that you want, you just got to be willing to put aside some of that Definitely. extra stuff that you usually do yep. in regular life. You know, like for during real. flight attendant training, it's just simply not regular life. Like you have to make some sacrifices. You do. So I hate studying. I hate reading. <laughs> I don't know how I even made it through college, but it's not something Same here. that I enjoyed. Yep. But I simply did it because I knew it would get me to my end goal. So Very true. Just do what y'all got to do. Save money, too. 
say maybe one day we can do a video about the coins the that word, we don't make word. here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't it's, know. Yeah. It's just it's limited, yeah. y'all. It's gonna be it's it just is. limited the first okay, basically just put a say you make eighteen dollars an hour, which sounds like a good hourly rate for the uh, yeah. Uh, average someone that's, that's working hundred and sixty hours yeah, a month. Exactly. <laughs> but here on reserve we are only guaranteed and I think some airlines even only guarantee I believe from like sixty to eighty is what yeah. Yeah. Most, you know, that's what you can find at some that, yeah. airlines. We here get like 75, I think. But that is the hours for the month. You know, most people work 40 hours a week times four is 160. So we're getting literally like half, half of that. What, yeah. So that's why it's just really important to be financially savvy, save your money. Um, just be yeah. smart. <laughs> that's the be best smart. advice and get another job <laughs> like really get another job Seriously. if you don't have one go get one yeah. but, and if you're in good standing with your job like I am yeah, at least for now <laughs> <laughs> like hold on to it see yeah. if they can work with your schedule yeah, see absolutely. if they can maybe do something once you figure out what your company allows you to do and what yep. your wiggle room is mm -hmm. and just make it work true but I think that's the end of this video, y'all. Thank you for watching. Make sure yes. that you hit the like button. Make sure you share. Make sure you Definitely. subscribe. And I'm going to put Roberto's um, subscription thing right here in the video as well. Yes. Make sure you click on him and support my friend as well, too, That would be, be great. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Talk to y'all later. Bye. Bye.